Now with me learning more and more about Luke, I gotta give y'all game. The last time I did the Luke guide, it was like beta, and this is like a whole different Luke, well, a little bit more confirmed. But make sure to leave a like, squad for new notifications, or comment down below who you want to see next. But also, we will be taking Luke to rank next video. Other than that, let's get straight up into it. Now, first things first, when it comes to learning Luke, I mean, I don't want to make a 20 minute video, but I will be explaining some of the things that I haven't covered overall. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remind y'all if you haven't already or for the new people um basically the frame data of his normals. Um let me make sure I have this all turned off because I was live at something that I will be showing y'all later on with Cami. But other than that, when it comes to the crouching light punch, the crouching light punches of four uh starting frames as four. With that going on, it is also negative two, which is not bad, which is not bad. It's not it's not very bad. And for the standing light punch, make sure I put this on. This is negative three frames. Starter frames is seven. For the light kick, let me do it again. It's five starter frames and negative two. And then for the crouching light kick, it's negative five frames and five frames startup. Also, for the standing medium punch, now frame startup, negative three. Crouching medium punch. Start up six frames, advantage one frame. Also, wait, let me show you how this too. I mean, before I go to the kicks, let's get the heavies done first. The forward heavy punch used to be plus, and now it is not plus no more. You will have to use drive in order to turn this plus, which I will be showing y'all like after I finish, you know, etc. But that used to be plus, and it's not plus. But the crouching heavy punch start up frame seven then advantage is negative 13 y'all will be using that more inside combos and confirms that i will be showing y'all later but for the standing medium kick and start up frame seven negative three frames if y'all don't know once again i will be explaining negative three frames basically shows that it's not really your turn um usually you use the drop impact or drop parry my fault uh drop rush also to increase the frames you need increasing frames you don't never want your friend to be negative or your mood to be negative but you can't be forcing out these moves you need poking moves but other than that like i said crouching medium kick eight frames negative six then you already know seven negative three now for the heavy kicks it is 10 starter frames negative five and then for the crouching heavy kicks it's negative nine frames now 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 what you want to be using for your poke tool when it comes to using luke is one i like to use my standing medium kick Y'all already see the range of the standing medium kick. Yeah, y'all see the range of it, bro. Once you start learning your poking tools, you can just start moving back and forth. I don't recommend y'all to just stand here and just keep forcing out buttons because it's not really gonna work. That's what I started learning and picking up on. Also, your crouching medium kick is also a poke tool, which is not really bad. I actually like it. Yeah, your, your standing light kick is actually can can be used. Y'all already see it can be used as a poke tool. I do like jabbing in because jabbing in, you're actually able to confirm with the auto combo that it gives you or that you automatically have with loot. But also, you can jab out with with the standing, with the with the standing medium punch, which is like I said, negative three. But when I draw parry, I also recommend y'all to do that too. You actually make any move plus four or well, plus four frames. So if this is negative six, when I draw parry, it's negative two. Now also with this forward heavy punch you were supposed to use this as meaties when somebody wake up let me try to uh let me let me because i'm still learning how to get around this let me put this on you already see that you could also meaty with your crouching your medium crouching you already see that that's a meaty also able to confirm with with the crouch medium you able to confirm with a lot of things or cancel to a lot of things so that's pretty much it for the pokes and stuff y'all see was ready cancelable but let's get into it the special moves now with the special moves um one thing that i'm not even sure if i even covered is that luke literally have a flash knuckle in the air an aerial flash knuckle and with the aerial flash knuckle you're actually able to confirm it's a combo we'll be showing you how to use it but you have to know the timing of this flash knuckle that's that's one thing there's no not really no frames to it because we are not doing it with somebody there's no blocking in the air but other than that when it comes to the special moves the sand blast this all have different ranges this is more of like a close range which i don't really recommend you how to use because why are you shooting sand blast at close range unless somebody really could just take it but it's negative four also be able to use the medium the medium is more of a mid screen the whole point of luke is literally just to control the range it's literally just control the range 
this character struggles with anybody who have answers to fireballs and i'm not talking about just parries but when you struggle with just fireballs or like somebody like can be so they're able to just go through fireballs and jp that's bad matchups that i actually seen but other than that you already see the sand blast plus five frames plus six frames plus seven frames so that we can actually move up now other than that the dps oh my god i, I was hitting that how i do that how i do that i was hitting that but another move that i would like to talk about is the avenger the avenger can be used and confirms its negative negative six uh, frames and then the overhead is negative eight frames which i don't really recommend y'all to just be throwing out there unless somebody is very bad um if you want to knowledge check somebody on doing it and they don't really know then that's when you do it and you just it's perfectly fine on it but um other than that you are able to do multiple other things like dps like dps hold on let me do it let me do it light dps is negative 27 you already see there's different ranges of the light dp or other dp that hits more upward that goes out a little bit and that goes to the moon so also you're able to ex it and when you ex it you get priority and then when you ex you're ready to know this this is also actually like it let me let me explain that because i know you have visual learners and i'm not the best at explaining things um when i get somebody to block with this i'm gonna have them drive impact a lot of people don't know that this actually beat drive impact what i'm about to show y'all so let me put this on all right, light, medium, heavy, and then I'm gonna EX my own, my sandblast. Wait, oh, it was not on, it's not on, hold on. It's not on, my fault, uh, 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 uh. This actually beat drop impact, which is kind of crazy, right? But I, I don't really know why. Yo, bro, why you just woke up and punched me, bro? Like, you just mad weird. You're mad weird, why you just woke up and punched me? But other than that, Flash Knuckles, make sure y'all check this out too. Flash Knuckles, I recommend y'all to actually get the timing down. If y'all want a video on how to get the timing down to get like more perfects and whatever, I will make a video on it. And then you can actually perfect every single form of the Flash Knuckle. This hits more upward. This send them off to a wall bounce. Let me actually show y'all. Let me actually show y'all. This is upward, you're able to combo off of it. This hit towards the wall, you're able to combo off of it. And then this goes straight up into a knockdown. So make sure y'all, you know, verify that you know just 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 make sure which one you're actually doing in a combo but in terms of using these flash knuckles i will be giving you some confirms now first thing first with the normal confirm with the jab like i said light medium then heavy jab with the light medium heavy jab you're actually able to go into the quarter circle back or the, the, the heavy flash knuckle to get a knockdown and with that you can get oki also you're able to to shoot with the flash knuckle the light and medium ones actually able to confirm not the heavy also you're able to confirm with the standing heavy punch you're able to dash into it let me let me let me hit this for y'all for the one time because I, I forgot the timing but we we bullying we bullying we bullying and you're able to actually get okay off of that um another thing about that is um you have to shortcut drive parry so you have to press forward Press forward, parry, and then press forward again in order to continue that combo. So, you're able to do a lot of combos with that. Also, you're able to side switch. You're able to side switch with the, with the, um, this, this medium flash knuckle, which is not really bad, but you're able to actually side switch with it. And when you get the side switch off, all you have to do is just jump and then you just swap sides. It's just, it's just not hard. It's not complicated. You're just chilling. You're automatically just chilling. Another confirm that I do recommend y'all to do is the light. Not the light, but you you can do the light too. But the standing, the standing medium kick cannot go into combos, right? So you have to do crouching medium kick. So when you actually get a counter, you could really just dash into it, huh? And then you could continue the combo. Mm -hmm. Yo, bro. Uh, 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 uh. You know it. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not a bad confirm. Like I said, I got y'all confirms. I'm just a little bit bad at explaining, you know. But visually, I got y'all. Oh, y'all also able to do this, um, sort of like a corner carry with the light, medium, heavy, um, punch. And then you could dash up and hit crouch and heavy punch. Let me show y'all. Dash up, crouch, and heavy punch, and you could charge into, into light. Yo, bro. Oh, yo, bro, bro, bro. Come on. Not, not in front of the, not in front of the homies. 
uh uh and then you can actually get the heavy flash knuckle into that so you can corner carry with that also you're able to send somebody off into into the medium flash knuckle and then you can also hit the avenger and with that yo let me let me let me show them bro with that yo bro why does why this game doing this to me right now bro i get it bro i get it luke i was playing cammy bro i shouldn't be playing cammy i should have been on loot would you not go do it? this me man but you are 32 you're plus 32 which is not bad you get okay for this too also this used to be very good into comboing but um, apparently it's just not on block it is negative three and then if i was to drop period which i can't go for high low it's plus one which is it used to be like plus two plus three i don't know why but that that's just how life is conclusion with luke is that you just have to control middle ground you have to play just neutral luke is not a, like a carry character how he used to be in street fighter 5 trust me because he used to carry me word so like i said he's not really a carry a carry character anymore you just have to know neutral you have to learn neutral if y'all do want videos of me explaining what neutral is or just learning more neutral and putting y'all on the game the more game i know the more game y'all know y'all already know i gotta make a sacrifice once i know stuff y'all know stuff y'all already know that but if y'all do want me to a video on how to improve your neutral how to prove a lot of things just let me know let me know down below in the comments but like i say he's neutral heavy he's not really carry heavy you just have to know what you're actually doing inside the game and use the system mechanics a little bit more the main mashups that i see myself having problems with um i didn't play a blanca yet with luke but i know a jp and a cami is very devious for luke uh because cami is able to actually weave through sandblast and then jp zoning is just absolutely crazy and i have no answer to it i literally have no answer to jp i, I don't no answer but other than that make sure to leave like squad for new notification bell to leave make sure to leave like squad for new notification bell to never admit make sure to leave like squad for new with notification bell to never miss a video I'm out. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and the notification button. I miss a video. I will be showing y'all Luke and Rink. We're gonna be climbing the ranks with Luke, like how we was climbing the ranks with Cammy. And y'all going to be seeing my growth with Luke and Cammy. Make sure you comment down below also what other character you want me to do a rank. I will be starting up another challenge. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. I'm out, Andre. Peace.